It was very cloudy the day I arrived in Paris. Never got to spend much time there, as I had an escort waiting to pick me up and take me to my assignment location. The assignment destination was the Chateau de Coligny, located in the town of Chatillon Coligny, 65 to 70 miles southeast of Paris. The assignment was to be photographing a group of in plain air artists for the next 21 days. I was given a brief with all the info about the area and surrounding towns. My job description was photographer for the group. However, I was also to be a gopher and driver for any of their daily group requests. The original castle of Chatillon Colony was built around 1150. It was destroyed in a war in the early 1500s. This old tower in a Renaissance well is all that remains from that period on the present day grounds. The current Chateau de Coligny was built and added to over the years from 1450 to the mid 1800s. The fact is that the Chateau is very old and gave me such a sense of history. I often wondered what life was like in that time period. I was truly impressed with the workmanship and effort the builders put into its creation. During my assignment I captured the following images of this beautiful and amazing chateau and the surrounding small towns in the area. So let's begin the adventure and give you a taste of France. The grounds of the chateau were always well maintained. The trees, shrubs, and flora were beautiful to the eyes. There were eight large glass pane windows on the far side of the chateau. These enclosed areas were used to store the orange trees and other fruit trees during the winter months. This area is known as Liangerie. French history books say this Liangerie is the most beautiful of Angeries constructed in France in the 16th century. The land around the chateau was fascinating to explore. Whenever I had the time, I would venture out and roam the grounds for new subjects to photograph. Traveling around the town of Coligny was so interesting. The town was small, but had so many scenes to capture with my camera. The people of Coligny were wonderful and very friendly and hospitable. All the local shops were exciting and enjoyable to visit. The bells toll and ring out from the tower every hour from noon to 6 p.m every day. Their soft echoing chimes were a peaceful reminder of the hour. 
Walking along the canal was always a relaxing experience. Briere was a very popular area for visitors. The town has lots of water canals for the water travelers to explore and adventure on. I was told that France has a vast canal system throughout the whole country. It's a way of life for some. The landscape along the canals was amazing, with lots of rich green lush trees and shrubs. Almost storybook-like, just beautiful scenery. Fantagine was a truly magical experience for me. It was in the foothills, about 15 or 20 miles from Colony. A quaint little town with lots of history and beautiful surroundings, and great food at the restaurant on the main street. Basic and simple art decor was used all over the town. This is the Chateau La Brugiere, our first stop of the day. Later in the day, we attended a street fair that was being held in the town. The final stop of the day was open fields of wildflowers. All in all, a very good day. Visiting the open wildflower fields proved to be very exciting, as the field was full of hundreds of butterflies. The fields were a bit overwhelming, beautiful and colorful flowers everywhere the eyes could see. Chavignol is a wine lover's dream and a definite place one must visit. There's lots of good wine tasting to experience. The towns of Sancier and Chavignol are the heart of the wine country. The landscapes are spectacular to witness and their history go back a long time. The wine sampling is fantastic. The many vineyards offer so many varieties of wine. More than one can handle in such a short visit. One thing that attracted my eyes everywhere I went while in France was the amazing personality of their doors and windows. The French people have a way of telling a story about themselves in their homes and business. There are so many different styles, colors, shapes, and decor. Really makes one wonder a 
about the stories of the people behind them.